Good afternoon. Welcome back to Country Living with the Waves. We would just like to show you a little bit about our, our home area and the things we've got planted, the things we've seen tend to do very well in South Alabama. The spring is wonderful. It's just starting to warm up. It's a little cool today, but uh, I think it's gonna be a beautiful spring. You can see right here in this flower bed that we've got under underway here. Well, it's an existing flower bed that we're uh, updating. Uh, we've got several things that were things that were taken out. Some, some we're going to put in. Right here is uh, some of our existing gardenias, which tend to bloom all year, uh, most of the year. You know, from about spring to late fall. And, uh, but in this particular area of our flower bed, it just doesn't get enough full sunlight. So they, they tend to want to grow out toward the pool and uh, block the view from the porch here. So we're moving these to another location and we'll show you those once we get those fully transplanted and set up. We cut them back uh, because they were quite tall before they started blooming so that they'll do better on the transplant. Now, if you look over here, a little farther to the center of the porch, you'll see where we've got two of the most beautiful flowers that I've ever seen. And these are called uh, fire azaleas. We actually picked these up in uh, Asheville, North Carolina when we went up to the Biltmore State one year. And we brought them back home and uh, planted them. And as you can see, they're just heavenly to look at and they bloom right about this time every year um, they have wonderful full blooms which come out first uh, then after the blooms are gone you'll see the leaves start to come in now this one doesn't get as much sunlight as the rest so it's not as full as the one over here on the left as you can see it gets a lot more sunlight so it's really full really beautiful and these actually smell like um, honeysuckle it's just a wonderful sweet smell they actually even look a little bit like honeysuckle, honeysuckle blossoms just wonderful, heavenly. I can highly recommend these. They do really well here in South Alabama. These are real hardy. Um, we planted them, you know, how you normally plant, most plants you don't want to bury it too deep because then, you know, it'll tend to get soggy and uh, waterlogged. So uh, we've got these in here. Once we've got them established, they're pretty much self-sustaining and uh, we just love them. I would love to get some more. Um, you see we've got other plants, other flowers blooming out here, but the one thing that surprises us the most is, you know, this time of year we have hummingbirds come in to visit. They're almost always here by the 1st of April, and we've gotten a few come in this past week. Is that they, for some reason, are not attracted to these blooms. You would think so, at being if they smell so sweet. These are the blooms of the azalea that's a little bit fuller. It gets a little more sunlight, as you can see, how wonderfully full and, uh, just fragrantly beautiful if there is such an expression looks just like honeysuckle smells just like honeysuckle it's so great we're happy to share our love of gardening with you um, I know uh, this is basically for beginners because if you're an expert you're not gonna watch this video so but uh, I just like to share a little bit about what I've tried what works what hasn't worked and uh, our flower inspector here and we hope you'll come back as we develop our flower beds and see what we put in new if you like what you see, subscribe.